Hi guys, Dean Musa here, more than just a pen. Gang, gang, today's video, what we're gonna be talking about is my top five things to remember when doing mixed media art. I will be using my bamboo tree study that I did for Patreon as an example. If you wanna see real-time tutorial videos like this, please head over to my Patreon where there's tons of videos on shading, skin tone, layering, animal studies, portrait studies, all sorts of studies on there for you guys to enjoy and learn along with me. So back to the video, that little plug is out of the way. <laughs> back to the video, let's go on to my tip number one. So tip number one is the foundation is the most important thing. Like if the foundation is off, everything else will be off regardless of what you do. It's like when you're building a building, have you noticed that whenever they're building like a building or something, it takes months and months and months on end to do the foundation. But when it comes to putting up the building, you leave, you like you've gone to that place for the last seven, eight months. Let's say, okay, let's just say a year. Yeah. And they've been working on the foundation. Nothing's been up. You come back <laughs> two weeks later, boom, there's a building stand. You're like, wait, what? How, how is that even possible? because they understand that the foundation is the most important part. If your root and everything is not strong, it doesn't matter what you do after, it's still going to be weak. All it takes is that bit of strong wind to knock down that building if it has a weak foundation. And it's the same thing with art. Your sketching needs to be on point. You need to take your time with sketching. If it takes you 20, 30 to an hour just to focus on the sketch and get it right and accurate, so be it. But you know that once you've got that right, going on to the second stages of adding colors and all that stuff, you're in a good position because you've set yourself up for success. Whereas if your sketch is off, your drawing is going to be off. So definitely focus on the foundation first. Really take your time when you're sketching. Um, it's very important and yeah, learn along the way. So now let's move on to step, I can't even speak. So now let's move on to tip number two. Reference photo. Now this is something that a lot of people discuss like, oh, should you use a reference photo? Should you use your imagination? All this different type of stuff. Again, it depends on the type of artist you are. If you're into photorealism or you know, you like drawing things, cartoons, stuff like that. If that's your thing, then that's your thing. There's no right or wrong when it comes to art. It just depends on the individual. Now, when it comes to the reference photo, when it comes to all this mixed media stuff, when I say, analyze your reference photo i mean by understanding okay this is the picture that i'm going to be drawing am i going to be using let's say watercolors first or am i going to be using the markers first or is the ballpoint pen going to come in first or pencils first this all comes from the reference photo so you need to understand the reference photo spend your time look at it saying okay i'm going to need these colors i'm going to use this or i need to do this first or i need to do that first this is what i mean by analyzing your reference photo really going into it, studying it. Again, if this takes you 10, 20 minutes, so be it. You know, we wanna get the best possible result we, we can get. Um, and these things are vital in order to get those great results. So definitely spend your time analyzing the reference photo. That is it for tip number two. Analyze your reference photo as much as you can. Now, let's move on to tip number three color combination and color base. What I mean by this is, again, what you were doing before, you know, the, the two steps before leads to this step. Um, now that you've analyzed your reference photo, you've worked on your foundation, it's time to identify what colors you're gonna be using first and the kind of color combinations you will need to do. That all comes from what you did before in the previous steps. Now, this is the part where you need to say, okay, do I use the, like, in for this one, let's just use this reference photo that I'm using right now, this drawing that I'm doing. Am I gonna be using the markers first or am I gonna be using the ballpoint pens first? Now, the smart thing to do would be to use the markers first because one, it covers up most of the area. Um, ballpoint pen takes forever to cover up the whole thing. And you can get this nice solid color compared to a ballpoint pen where you can't, where you, you know, you have to do a ton of layers. Um, so it will be smart to do obviously the base color first, which will be the markers, and then incorporate your color combinations with the ballpen pens on top. And this is a vital key, a vital skill to know. And um, again, it takes time, practice, and 
trying and trying and trying over 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 again you know learning making mistakes learning making mistakes learning these all points that are coming up but this is step number three uh, knowing your color combinations and trying out different things and knowing which one to use first are you going to use the watercolors or ballpoint pens first logically what would be the smart thing use the ballpoint pen to put down your base a bit like what we did with our monkey study um, a few videos back if you haven't seen it go check it out and uh, we did watercolor and ballpoint pen but yeah the smart thing there would be apply your watercolor first the base colors you know the colors that you identified by analyzing your reference photo and then bringing in the ballpoint pen on top and if you need to add water colors as you go along you can do that which leads me on to my tip number four work in layers now this is something that's actually vital um in the art industry art community whatever you want to call it um especially with, for beginners they don't create enough layers they don't add enough values to their drawing like the highlights the shadows um, I guess I feel like that's a, that's a problem that a lot of people struggle with. Um, that's why I really suggest you guys start working in layers. And that requires time, which a lot of people are not patient enough to do. Um, but you need to. You need to have it in order, if you want to take yourself to that next level, you need to have the patience. You need to understand that I'm working on my craft. I'm trying to improve. It's going to require hours and hours and hours on end. The only difference between me and yourself if you're a new person watching this the only difference between me and you is the hours i've put in that's it there's only hours in between us you know what i mean i wasn't born being able to draw you know what i mean i've i have i've had to do this over tons of years tons of hours of working on my craft so definitely working work in layers you know start with your base layer then you apply the ballpoint pens and then you might add a bit more you know highlights here more layers here a bit more cross hatching over here you know a bit like doing this this and that um until you all of a sudden have an end result so working in layers is vital and it's something that you need to remember when you're working in mixed media um because you just need to when you walk it like my like i said in my previous study that i did with the monkey I worked in so many layers. I did the watercolor first as a base, then I applied a ballpoint pen, and then the watercolor came back, and then more ballpoint pen came back, and then work it, you know? Kept on going layers, 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 layers um, is vital because you can't do it all in one go. It's not possible just to say, boom, this is how I'm gonna do it. One go with straight markers, and I don't need to add more than one layer. You always need 10, 15 layers, um, especially if you're working in a single medium. If you're working in just ballpoint pen, tons of layers just markers tons of layers watercolors tons of layers mixed media you might use two or three layers of each you know because you're doing different things but overall layers need to happen so moving on to my final thing to remember when using mixed media when doing mixed media art make mistakes now this is this is actually something i live by you know if you guys have watched all my videos when i'm talking when i'm doing like voiceovers i always mention this tip make mistakes you know you've got to make mistakes because mistakes is a part of art and if art is supposed to be fun the mistakes don't happen you know what i mean you're just learning you're just doing and learning doing and learning you know you need to have fun with this that's number one when you do mixed media especially someone like me all this stuff that you guys are seeing me doing most of it's first time i'm just trying it out just to see how it looks you know i don't know if it's gonna work if it's not gonna work Regardless, I don't care. I'm doing it because I'm ha I'm enjoying it and I want to learn something. I'm going to try and something new. I want to see if it works, if it doesn't work. You know what I mean? It's art. Be loose with it. Have fun with it. Enjoy it. And just keep creating. Create, create, create as much as you can. You know? And just make a ton of mistakes. Because you're just going to learn. That's it. You know? If you make a mistake, analyze it. Say, okay, why did I make that mistake? What? Where did I go wrong? Remember it for next time. Try it again, and I'm 100, 150% sure you will improve. Whether it's a little bit, you know, if you're doing this every day, you're improving by this much every day, but in a year, my goodness, imagine this every day, in a year, 365 days. I can't, it's, it's crazy how much success you can have by just putting in those hours and understanding that this is a journey, it's gonna take you long, and you're willing to learn so guys that is it for my top five reasons to so top, top five things to remember when doing mixed media art 
in, honestly all these tips can work for just standard art in general um, so just try and remember these tips you know make sure to come back to this video if you feel like you need to watch it again um, hopefully I didn't mumble way too much uh, <laughs> but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it again if you want to see this bamboo tree tutorial alongside plenty of other tutorials that I've done um, yeah make sure to go over to my patreon and check it out and yeah for ax you have access to all the tutorials for five dollars a month which is pretty decent um, compared to the knowledge that I'm giving you guys and yeah that's it I'm out it's your boy Demos gang gang more than just a pen we out peace